and here we're going to do the before takeoff checklist, one of the most important checklists. Okay, it's okay, dog. Good. Forward. Fuel pumps. Electric fuel pumps on. Rider trims are all good. P2 audio advisory system. Gear is down for landing. Check gear. Overspeed. System test complete. That's good. So here before the takeoff, we're going to do our takeoff briefing. Today we know with our weight, our rotation speed is going to be around 67. And we're just going to read the takeoff briefing uh, to know our vital action in, in case something goes wrong. So we know VMC is 56, rotate is going to be 67, accelerate through 88. We're going to climb for 105. Um, engine flare parallel 82, we're going to close throttle and land straight ahead. Above 82, we're going to carry out single engine procedure, which includes mixture, prop, power, full forward, gear up, flaps up, identify, dead foot, dead engine, verify, reduce the throttle, and feather. And today we're going to do all turns towards the good engine and land on the single engine in case one engine goes wrong. Roger. From there, now during the takeoff, I want you guys to um, pay attention to the nose so we're going to maintain some back pressure due to the t-tail um, and we're just going to unload the nose wheel as soon as it pops it's going to be around 67 i'm going to reduce the back pressure so it stops rotating and we just hold that climb angle okay okay we're ready to go so here out there it's good We got tower on, and we're going to write our takeoff time, which is 9.58. I mean, here we're going to add a couple minutes. All right. Tire Kill Pop Yankee holding short runway 18, no backtrack. Kill Pop Yankee Tower, left turn, cloverleaf route, clear for takeoff runway 18. Left turn, cloverleaf, and clear for takeoff runway 18, Kill Pop Yankee. So it's, it's sort of like a soft field, but it's not really a soft field because we don't want that nose wheel to be off the ground. Just want to unload it. Okay. So here we're going to make sure we're lined up. And also, while you're lined up, you don't want to you know, just bite into the runway length. You want to, um, you know, have the shortest uh, turn time, like turn length. Here we're ready. We're going to apply f full throttle, slowly and gently, all the way forward. Some back pressure already. Full power. Power set. Engine gauge is 2700 RPM. Uh, engine gauge is green. Airspeed's alive. 67. There we go. Nose wheel unlighted. Nose wheel up. And I just hold it. Pause the brake. Gear up. And we let the airplane accelerate to 105. And we're going to wait till we're about uh, 500 feet above ground before reducing to cruise climb. The, patch, the pitch attitude for the cruise climb is about the dashboard to the horizon that give us a steady 105. There we go. Throw back to 25 inch manifold and 2500 RPM slowly. They're very touchy. There we go. Circuit height. All right. Left turn out. As we're climbing, our manifold pressure is decreasing, so every time we have to readjust. There we go. Keep it at 25 steady. That That's a 75% brake horsepower. Here, usually what I say is 10% of your climb rate. Right now we're climbing at 1,000 
feet per minute, so 100 feet before your target altitude, start leveling off. The same APT applies, so attitude forward all the way to about four fingers below the horizon. Let your airspeed increase about 120. And there we go. We use 20 inch of manifold for the normal cruise. So power back. RPM 2300. So that's our attitude power. And now we're going to trim to keep unlighting that, you know, yoke. Nice. From there, we're done. We're set up for cruise and uh, we're going to do our cruise check. So we're going to pull up the checklist. It's the yellow. Yeah, there you go. Uh, power's all set. Uh, fuel pumps, we will turn those off one at a time. And then make sure uh, we can uh, lean it. So right. here to lean. Regular training, uh, you know, in transition, we use about um, half of it, half to. 75%. Okay. And then cow flaps, obviously, it's cold, so. Yeah, we're going to close them. So Keep here you can raise them. So to raise them, you can just press on that knob and then pull up. There we go. Okay. And that's it. Here yeah. we're set up for a cruise flight. Awesome.